This video covers the named segments of the middle cerebral artery, or MCA, specifically the sections that we refer to as M1, M2, M3, and M4. So let's look here on the diagram. When we start the middle cerebral artery at the carotid terminus, we have MCA shown in black here and ACA in gray. From the origin of the middle cerebral artery, the MCA stem all the way forward to the point at which the branches of this artery start to curve upwards in the insular portion. That whole portion of the artery, even with branch points, that's all known as the M1 segment. So common misconception is that the M1 segment would stop here and that at any major bifurcation beyond that they would be called M2, but that's actually not the case. Uh, any branching segments that run roughly parallel and have not yet made the turn into the insular portion of the artery, anything up to that bend, that's all M1. Once we have these branches turning into the insula, uh, into that insular segment, these are referred to as M2 as long as they are heading uh, superiorly in the insular portion. Once these branches, and again, no matter how many branch points we encounter in that insular segment, it's still M2. Once those branches anatomically start to turn inferiorly and move laterally in the sylvian fissure to reach the surface of the cortex, that portion here, as indicated, is the M3 segment uh, for each of those multiple branches that form M3 segments here running outwards. And then any surface vessels, any branches of the middle cerebral artery visible on the surface of the hemisphere, those here are all referred to as M4. In this example, we have an axial thick MIP reconstruction of a CT angiogram. We're going to look at this patient's right anterior circulation, internal carotid artery coming up. We find the terminus, finding the takeoff of the ACA A1 portion here, and the origin of the middle cerebral artery. We see a branch point here, and then secondary branch points here. And as shown previously, everything running relatively horizontally and moving laterally from medial to lateral. This entire segment here is the M1 segment, including this portion here straight until we start to get turns of vessels into that insular portion. So starting here, this artery uh, here is a, an M2 branch running all the way out here. It's still M2 until its branches start to run out here, running again horizontally running uh, from medial to lateral, this time in the sylvian fissure to reach the cortical surface. So these branches running medial to lateral here in the sylvian fissure, those are your M3 branches. And then once they've taken the turn to reach out on the cortical surface, those are the M4s. So each one of these running from medial to lateral in the sylvian fissure here, here, I have to go up and down to get, it, uh, get the, the image. Uh, registered with the angle of the sylvian fissure as it runs posteriorly. But each one of these vessels running out in the sylvian fissure, that's an M3. But then all of the vessels as we come back down that run uh, from anterior to posterior uh, uh, relatively horizontally with some somewhat of a, an upward trajectory moving anterior to posteriorly, all of that, uh, all of those branches are M2. Here's another example in both axial and coronal reconstructions. Again, the right anterior circulation, the same patient uh, in both of these examples here. We have the carotid terminus, carotid coming up, the terminus, the origin of the anterior cerebral artery here, and the origin of the middle cerebral artery. This MCA stem, the initial segment, M1, runs from the carotid terminus all the way out until the vessels start to take that bend into the insular portion. So all of these ones running anterior to posterior, those are your M2 segments. And once they take the bend to run medial to lateral again, roughly speaking, out in the sylvian fissure to reach the cortical surface, that is an M3. Some of these branches, the M2 branches running roughly anterior to posterior in the insular segment, that branch, for example, here and this branch, all of this, all the way back to here, that would still be M2. Once it takes its turn to move in the sylvian fissure to reach the cortical surface, that's M3. So it depends on when it takes its turn. Some of these 
vessels uh, can have quite a long extent being uh, M2 segments. Same thing viewed in the coronal plane, carotid terminus. You nicely see the, uh, the carotid terminus with the ACA, MCA. Here, despite this branch point bifurcation here, beyond this, as long as it's still running roughly medial to lateral until it's reached the insular portion, all of that is still M1. So M1, M1, M1. Once they start to take this turn, and now we're moving as we scroll in and out of the plane of reconstruction, these branches here, these are the insular branches. We window it and we can see the brain in the background. You can see how they sit there uh, lying against the insula. As we come here, and we see they make their turn now, giving off these medial to lateral branches that run out in the sylvian fissure. Those sylvian branches here are now your M3s. That's a good example. So here is M2, takes a turn, M3. These are all M2 branches, smaller M3s. And then farther back, M2 branch coming up here. Once it takes its turn and moves medial to lateral, roughly speaking, we're M3. Once you hit the cortical surface, those cortically, uh, th those, those, those uh, vessels that are visible on the cortical surface are all M4. So to recap graphically one last time, the carotid bifurcation, the origin of the middle cerebral artery, that first segment of the MCA, the M1, any of the, the branches here, including after any branch points that run from medial to lateral, until they've made that bend upward, superiorly and posteriorly, in the insular segment, everything up until that bend, regardless of branch points, before or after any branch points here, all of that is M1. Once we've taken this turn, superiorly and posteriorly in the, the insular segment here, all of these branches running, shown as a bundle here, uh, are M2 segments. And then all of these various branches running, like once again, medial to lateral, this time out towards the cortical surface, out through the sylvian fissure. These are the M3 segments. And then once they've taken a, a turn again and now run and are visible on the cortical surface, those are the M4 branches.